Capricorns, 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 Capricorns. Welcome to the Taurus season. The Taurus season is from April 20th until May 20th. I want to say thank you for being here, Capis. Um, thank you for returning. And let's look at what is happening. This is your sister season. This is the season of the second house. The second house is your materialistic and financial stability. I see your worries is going to be over. You open um, this Taurus season with Jupiter in Capricorn. So Capricorn, what is that saying for you guys? Jupiter in Capricorn. It is about happiness and joy with your financial stability. So you open the season with this. And as you move through the season, you're breaking down all blackage and barriers that was creating um, block to your financial flow you're taking it down taking it down breaking it down breaking it down in the third week there is no worries and in the last week you are taking down anything that is coming at you you have this uh, um um this energy in the in the in the um fifth week as uh, you are a warrior on the battleground and win or lose, you're moving everything out of your way and you're taking back your financial stability and balance. So you're like a war warrior in this uh, um, Taurus season. This is your second out. So, you know, no one gets between a Capricorn and their money. And this is so good because uh, you are now... Um, Jupiter in Capricorn, you are now coming in this Taurus season um, with Jupiter in Capricorn. So that is luck in your financial situation. So wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies. Let's move in and see what this is saying. So Capri, um, when you have, this is your energy, Jupiter in Capricorn, there's a lot of luck with your financial uh, situation. Yes, so people who are in service or give service, you are going to be very, very lucky. Um, so it doesn't really matter what kind of service you give um, in the week of uh, April 20th until April 26th. Uh, service is going to be good, okay? A lot of you, if you were waiting on some sort of a message for some sort of a financial help for a house, a business, at the workplace, whatever service you're given at the workplace or you're working from home, um, home it is going to be a good week of April um, 20th to April 26th. Whatever service you're doing, it is going to be very satisfactory. People are going to be wanting your service. People are going to be recognizing um, that you are good at what you're doing um, at the work or you are given service working from out your home. So let's say you have a day job or you are um, you're an entrepreneur. You are going to be good. People are going to be loving what you do and they are going to be opening for your service. Remember Capricorns, you got to choose one of the crystal. Use the link below. And if you're not yet a, mem a member of uh, the channel, um, you can... Use the second abandonment in order to access the crystal. Just capis. And I'm trying to figure this out if it's on the first abandonment or the second. I think if you use the first abandonment, you can get it. But if you use the second abandonment, you will get more extras. Um, but the first abandonment, you will see the extended of the monthly readings and also the ex the crystals. Okay, so... It doesn't matter which abandonment you take, you will receive it. It, is, it depends on what you want to have. So a lot of you Capricorns, um, if you take the first abandonment, you can also pick me up um, on the first Saturday of every month. Remember, the abandonment is per month, okay? And this is where YouTube is going. So a lot of people... Um, in order to get extra readings and that sort of a thing, um, is going to be being an abandonment and using the abandonment, the subscription. So use the second subscription 
And um, thank you. Use the second uh, subscription, Capricorn. All right, so Capricorn, let's look at the second week. The tower moment is coming down on a friend. Who is this friend? And what did this friend do? So Capricorns, in the second week, the week of uh, April 27th till April twenty. Uh, May 3rd, so April 27th until May 3rd, a tower moment is here for a friend, whoever this friend is. You will receive the message. You are going to be finding out. Um, it can be a tower moment if you have a Taurus friend. Um, it could be a Taurus friend. Uh, if you have a Leo friend, it could be a Leo friend. Uh, it could be a friend at the workplace, but um, whoever this friend is, Capricorns, you're going to be receiving in the week of April 27th until uh, April 27th until May 3rd that some sort of an end is here for a friend. Whoever this friend is, it's looking as if this friend have a business or this friend is at the work floor. Okay, and a, 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 a tower moment is coming down for this person and it's coming up as a, um, a Taurus person or a Taurus could be telling you um, that a tower moment came down on your friend where an, a huge unexpected moment where some sort of unconventional situation and play that a friend was doing a huge tower moment came down and it has to do with a whole lot of money. So a friend could be financially, um, yeah, for it, uh, financially bankrupt. And I see you're going to be getting some sort of a message um, about this friend, okay? So um, whoever this, but this is a real true friend and I see a lot of you Capricorns are going to be rallying around this person and is going to be helping this person out, okay? So unexpectedly, this situation happened for a friend. Oh, oh Bridie, so this is not really a positive. Um, some of you, you could be recognizing that is a friend that was uh, blocking your financial flow and you're going to be moving this friend out of your life and releasing yourself from this person in order and you're going to be recognizing that your financial flow is now moving forward as you get to the third week. So it could be a friend that was blocking you financially and you were not aware of this and through conversation or you could have asked for a reading or something, you recognize, oh my God, this is a person, is, is my own friend that has done me this injustice and a huge tower moment is going to be coming down on this friend. And whoever this person is, you really open up your heart to this friend and this person have done you wrong. And this is like the universe is um, saying, you know, Capricorn have really been there for you. Why have you done this? And it's like the wheel of karma, but this is destructive because the tower is Mars energy. Okay. Um, a lot of people are not aware of this, but the energy of the tower is the Mars energy. Um, so it can be a, a situation where um, someone at work is going to be released and it's, it's going to be it's in the Leo's. The Leos and the Aries could be get it with this. So if you have a Leo or an Aries friend, they could be getting it with this energy because it's their energy. And it's because of uh, they have done you wrong when you have been there for them. All right. So let's look at the third week. The third week is the nine of swords in the reverse, Mars in Gemini. So um, whatever that was happening between you and a Gemini, it is now over. Okay, so a lot of you um, Capricorns could have had some sort of an issue between you and a Gemini. It is now over, okay? And uh, is it this, whatever is transpiring, was this Gemini your friend? Who was this Gemini? Was this Gemini a friend of yours? You're going to be getting some sort of a news that a week before they had lost their job unexpectedly or their world just blew up in front of them. But I see you are going to be coming back and helping this Gemini um, or um, whatever that was happening between you and the Gemini is now going to be over in this week. So this week is the week of uh, May 4th till May 10th. 
So the week of May 4th until May 10th, your worries is going to be over. Morris is in Gemini and I see the worries between you and the Gemini is going to be abruptly over because whatever that was going on is now ended. So did you have a Gemini boss? What was happening between you and this Gemini? Yes. So they are going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a false play um, with data and information. And it could be that a Gemini recognized that. And whoever this Gemini is, a Taurus and a Gemini, they recognize some sort of a false situation between a Taurus and a Gemini in a corporation institution. They're also going to be finding out that a Leo has been lying. Whoever this Leo is, I see you um, Capricorns could have been connected with a Leo at the workplace and uh, a Leo and a Gemini. Whatever is it with a Taurus, Leo and Gemini at the workplace, a lot of you are going to be recognizing these people were false. So Mars is about work and uh, um, the energy of uh, about work, okay? And it has to do with something at work. But whoever this Gemini is, some of you had some sort of a problem with a Gemini and they're going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a false play and uh, they're recognizing that a Leo, whoever this Leo is, is very false. And I see your worries is not going to be over. So it's as if a Leo tried to create some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue for you. And they're going to be recognizing the false act of a Leo. A Leo could be fired from a corporation institution. And this is going to be free in you. You are going to be free from this problem and issue that was created. And they're going to be so recognizing that a Leo has been false. So some of you could be that you had a Leo friend and this, play, this person was like two-facing you, two-siding you. And people are now recognizing that this Leo was as false as ever. Whatever problems that you have with a Gemini in the week of May 4th until May 10th, this is going to be over. A lot of people are going to be recognizing some sort of a clarity is going to be coming in. People are now going to be realizing that a, a, a Gemini was very false. Whether this for a Gemini and a, and a, and a a Taurus, a Gemini, and a Leo was very, very false. And it's as if you Capricorn had to um, deal with them in some sort of a uh, connection network, and they're going to be recognizing this. So they're going to be finding out some sort of a false play in a corporation institution, and they're going to be recognizing uh, um, in a corporation um, some sort of a false play. As we look at the last week, May 11th until May 20th, I see a lot of you are going to be waiting, waiting, waiting. And I see a whole lot of emotional situation that is occurring. You're going to be waiting. You are dealing with the energy of the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords has to do with Venus in Aquarian. You're waiting because some sort of an investigation is going on. So, yep, the energy of Mercury. Um, this is about Venus in Aquarian, five of Venus in Aquarians. You're waiting and you're waiting on some sort of a news. It could be some sort of a news um, that you're waiting for. And it's as if you're waiting on a Pisces to release some sort of a data and information. And you are waiting, waiting, waiting in order to receive this news. So it is a whole lot. This Taurus season, Capricorn. Oh, oh, oh. Now, Capricorn, um, go choose one of your crystal because as you choose one of your crystal, um, you're going to be recognizing. Um, I don't know what is going on between you, Capricorns and a Gemini and a Taurus. A Taurus, um, they're going to be recognizing um, some sort of a false act with a Taurus and some sort of a worries with a Gemini is going to be over because a corporation is going to be recognizing that a Gemini and a Leo was very, very disturbing. Whoever this Gemini and this Leo is was very, very disturbing. I mean, they was as false as what, okay? And this corporation institution is going to be recognizing that a Leo and a Gemini created something and they're going to be recognizing the disturbing 
um, data between a, a Leo and a Gemini, and they're going to be recognizing the false move what a Leo and a Gemini have created. So I don't know what's the problem that you were having because uh, um, the Nine of Swords, and this is in reverse, is about a Gemini, and it could be that you Capricorns, your boss that you were dealing with in a corporation institution, some sort of uh, um, problems and worries with this person is now over because they recognize that there was some sort of a false play um, in a corporation. So, you know, whatever it is, so um, this is a situation on the work floor for a lot of you Capricorns and they're going to be recognizing that the Leo was false and uh, a Gemini is going to be recognizing and have evidence that a Leo has been lying. So is it going to be helping you Capricorn? I see that this uh, Gemini is going to be um, protecting you Capricorn because this Gemini recognize that this Leo was lying and they don't know who this Leo is or this Leo is not who they say they were. And I see that's where your worries is going to be um, over. So um, it could be coming up at the workplace, some sort of a corporation institution. It could be coming up at the workplace, but it could be coming up as uh, some sort of an unconventional situation. But they rarely now recognize that a Leo is false and a Leo could have created some sort of a false uh, um, play in order to pretend or was creating some sort of an illusion um, around and people are now recognizing what this Leo has done. And I see this Gemini is going to be recognizing that this Leo um, was very, very false. So I see there is an investigation that is taking place. Um, this is Venus emotional you're waiting on some sort of information in the last week so the last week we have the five of swords in reverse and that is venus in aquarium and there is no happiness for a leo because they recognize that a leo is false so it's as if a leo trying to create some sort of a drama at the workplace or this leo was pretending and creates some sort of an issue. And I see that a corporation, a government institution have recognized that this Leo was false, okay? And a Gemini is going to be protecting you because a Gemini know that the information is yours and is going to be protecting you. And they're going to be recognized. So a lot of you are waiting and um, May, um, the energy of May 11th until May 20. Um, they're kind of wrapping up uh, some sort of uh, situation that was uh, happening because I see that the Gemini um, show data and information that the Leo has been lying. So they recognize here that a Leo has been lying. And I see a lot of you Capricorns are waiting now for some sort of a, a situation to wrap up. Okay. Because it's Venus in Aquarian and it's not there for this Leo because they recognize the lies and deceptiveness of this Leo. So you um, Capricorns had gotten involved with a Leo. Maybe this was a um, someone um, who you did some work for or someone who came to you. You're going to be recognizing because a Gemini have data and information and recognize that the same information that a Leo have is for a Capricorn. And I see this Gemini. So they're wrapping up this and you Capricorns will get out of the situation because they recognize the foul play of this this um, of this of Leo. They recognize the foul play of this Leo. And they're trying to wrap up the situation so that you Capricorn can move forward in your world. So expect that in the last week, week of May... 11 till May 20, they're going to be trying to wrap up a situation because they recognize how false Aaliyah was and a huge double moment is going to be coming down. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, thumbs up. Come back every week to see what is going to be transpiring, who the double moment is going to be hitting. It is a Taurus friend for some of you. And... Uh, uh, a corporation institution your worries is now over they recognize that a leo has not spoken the truth 
And it's as if, if the workplace or a government institution is going to be recognizing that Aaliyah has not spoken the truth. Maybe some of you are showing up that Aaliyah has not spoken the truth or uh, data and information came out that they recognized that Aaliyah wasn't speaking um, the truth. So that's where your worries is going to be over. So take it, run with it. I do love you guys. Namaste until next time.